Good day viewers and uh, welcome to physics and mathematics lovers. Today we shall continue with the topic on physics, friction. But before we do that, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Physics and Mathematics Lovers, and also follow this page, like the post and share. Write your comment and as you do so, God will bless you. And in our previous video, we explained what friction is all about. Now I want to give you the, the laws of solid friction. When you look at it here, yeah, we said that friction is a force that opposes what? The motion between two bodies in contact. Yes, look at it here. Yeah. Law number one says friction opposes the relative motion of two surfaces in contact. So that is to say, when a body tries to move or try to move over the other, so there is a force that tries to stop it to form a combo, a form of what? Resistance. That is what that law is talking about. Then number two says, it is independent of the area of the surface of contact. Yes, friction does not depend on the area of the surface in contact. That is to say, the friction that we are talking about only depends on how rough that surface is. It does not depend on the area. So number three says, it depends on the nature of the surface. Yes, friction is only depending on the nature of the surface of uh, the body. For example, if we have a rough body, so we're going to have uh, a high level of uh, friction. So if the body is so smooth, the friction will be so limited. So that is why we said that uh, the friction that we are talking about, it depends on the roughness, the roughness of the body. Number four, it is independent of the relative velocity between the surfaces. Yes, the relative velocity tries to talk about the movement of the body. So the friction does not depend on how fast the other body is moving. So it only depends on the roughness of that surface. So the number five law says that the limited frictional force, F, is directly proportional to normal reaction r yes this is explained by newton's third law of motion that says that to every action there is equal for example this is the body this is the body on the surface so according to newton's third law he said that what this is this is what this is the body it having a weight w so he says what to every action there is equal but what opposite to a reaction there is your r so this surface is also acting on this word body, and the body is what resting on the surface. So there is equal and opposite word reaction. So this R here will be equal to this word W. So according to the fifth law, say that what this force, this force, this resistive force here, is directly proportional to this word normal reaction. That is the word relationship that we have here. We have F. This is the sign of what proportionality. So, removing this sign of proportionality, we are going to introduce constant. That means we are going to have our F equal to what? Mu. This is mu. And this mu is called coefficient of static friction. So, we are going to look for this constant, which is the mu. We call it coefficient. So, by doing that, we are going to what? remove it here by making mu a subject of the formula. So, we are going to divide this F by this word, normal reaction. And this formula is used to calculate the coefficient of our static friction. So thank you so much. In our next video, I am going to bring calculation and I'm going to explain in cases of friction. For example, when we have what a plane surface and we have what an inclined surface. I am going to give you the condition whereby we can determine the applied force and the frictional force. Do not forget to like this page, keep updated, stay connected, and also share. As you do so, God will bless you.